okay so let's head back towards the azure portal and from the menu we can find the storage accounts uh, here you can see you can find storage accounts so you need to click create option it will open up a new page for you so now from this particular blade we can start specifying the properties uh, that we need to set to create a storage account and first of all the subscription as my subscription is set to the free trial which is azure subscription one which is fine by me uh, because i am using a free subscription if you are using another you can choose that one and let's set a new resource group here i'm just simply just going to create a new one i'll just click on create new so i will name it as rg dash web development dash or hyphen dev dash zero zero one and then select ok just like that so now we have created a new resource group simple because this resource that we are about to create does not necessarily belong to the data engineering division so the division that this resource belongs to is web development now let's set a storage account name so i will name it as se web store data 001 and i have to choose a region so always choose a region that is closest to you and it happens to me in my case that's central india so i will select central india as my region i'm going to leave performance as standard as well as a redundant storage so i will move on to the next advanced we don't need to change anything here it's looking actually fine access protocols we don't need at this stage so I will move on to the networking part and we have to enable the public access from all networks. So I don't think we need anything here as well. Microsoft network routing, routing preferences. By default, Microsoft is providing us these services. And I will move on to the next part that is data protection and uh, days to retain deleted blobs. It will retain your files for seven days. That's fine. Enable versioning for blobs. I don't need this one. I will just move on to the encryption and just then move on to the tags. So once more we need to set our tags so i will select the tags like i did in the previous video so i will first select a division name as division and i will call it as web development because this storage accounts will be uh, accessed by my web development team so i need to unselect all resources and just click on storage account so now i need to create choose a product owner suppose i say mr xyz it can be any name and similarly you need to unselect all and select the storage account so for the data owner i will just choose miss abc it can be any person so similarly i will select storage account and then <clears throat> just like that and once i am done i am going to select review and create just like that so here you can review all the basics advanced networking security and data protection and other things uh, here and i will just click on create just like that and it should start validation you can see initializing the deployment and it's basically performing validation until the validation is complete you cannot move to the next step so okay once the deployment is completed i'm going to select go to the resource because I, now i need to create a container in which i had to basically upload my data so i will go to the resource you can see the properties of this storage account here here is name and other things you can just explore here so now i need to create a container either i can search here or i don't need to search because it's just here on the data storage tab here the containers i will just click on containers i will just uh, create a new container by clicking here and i will call it as sales so for public access level i will just 
leave it as it is private. I don't want any anonymous access from outside. So I'll just click on create. Yeah, it's saying that sales is already in use. So I will call it as sales one. Yeah, sales one is created. You can see here it's private and it's available. I'll just click on it. Now I will upload my data file inside this one. Now in the sales one, I'll just click on this upload button. It's really easy. Just click on that and it will open up a window for you. Just drag your file. Like I have this file of sales. I will drag it here and I'll just click on upload. It's a JSON file and I'll click on upload. Now it is considerably a big file. It should take a couple of minutes to complete and it also depends upon your internet connection speed. Okay. I'll just wait for a moment to let this file be uploaded completely. Okay, now you can see that the file has been uploaded successfully. It took some time because uh, I don't know my internet connection wasn't that good. So you can see here, here is your file. It's sales.json file. This means that we have just uh, completed our lesson. So that's it for this video. Uh, we saw how to create storage account and upload data in Microsoft Azure.